I am sitting in a sea of pants. <laughs> hey there, it's Paige, and it's time to make up the page. So this is the introduction video of a three-part series that I'm going to do. And this is the Battle of the Fine Liner. So for those who don't know, fine liners are my hair. Um, fine liners are pens that most artists use to do detail, to add details, to do line work. For me, I do a lot of outlining with fine liners. I use fine liners for everything, but you don't have to use them just for art. You can use them to take notes with. You can use them in a bullet journal or any journaling. They're just pens that are formulated for longevity. So this part one that we're doing today, I'm just going to introduce the pens and I actually changed this up a little bit um, just because a lot of my following is not into art. So I said, you know what, let's put like an everyday, like everyday pens to the test. Let's do like a ballpoint pen. Let's do um, like a gel pen. Let's do a fountain pen. So we're going to try some different pens. So I'm going to start out introducing some sets that I have. So I guess I'll start with this one. This is pretty what a fine liner looks like. Well, this is called a drawing pen. This is from Mohuhu, and I love their alcohol markers better than Copics. I'm a very off-brand artist. I don't use like the standard stuff. I use like the off-brand stuff. Like everybody uses Copics, and I'm like, nah, I'd rather use Mohuhu's for alcohol markers. Um, everybody loves Pigma Microns for fine liners, and I. I will get into that story a little bit later. But yeah, this is what a set of fine liners looks like. Uh, this is a hoo set. And fine liners come in different sizes as well. So in this set, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different sizes. And um, some of them come even brush pens. I'm sorry, my lighting is. There we go. We'll just block it with this. Um, I'm filming on my iPad again. I just felt like it was more informal. I let loose a little bit more with the iPad and it's actually easier for me to upload and offload um, to my computer. I mean, my camera, well, I did find my camera charger. So part two, I'm going to film with my camera because we're going to be moving around a lot. And that way I could just kind of set it in one place and not worry. So I did find my camera charger, we'll be using it, yay, but yeah, um, so Ohuhu's fine liners, I have these to test out, um, I have, have I used them? I feel like I have, some of the fine liners that I have, I haven't fully, like I swatched them, but I haven't fully used them yet, so we're gonna really, it's gonna be like a first impressions kind of test too. But yeah, so I have these. Um, then you have fine liners that come in colors. Like this set is colored. Um, I'm getting more into using colored fine liners. I haven't really, I've mostly been using black, but I'm getting into using colored ones more. And this set's from Mr. Pen. They are in I think they only sell on Amazon. I could be wrong, but um, I only buy them on Amazon. But, um, yeah. So, fine liners come in different sizes, different colors, and different formulas of ink. Like, um, a lot of them are water-based, but sometimes you get different, um, formulas. And I'm gonna have a Google Doc down below that explains not well not explains but has the brands that i'm showing the names of the pens that i'm showing um if they come in a set the name of the set and the prices from where i bought it uh, most of them i would say i pretty much bought from four different places um michael's is a big one uh, amazon's the other big one 
I bought some of this stuff. Um, comes from Blick. Dick Blick is the name of the website. I know. It's kind of funny. Um, Blick art materials I bought from and jet pens, which is Japanese stationery. So I priced things from there, but actually I have two sets from Fab Below. These I've used both sets. And holy crap, Fab Below. Whoa. So yeah, um, the box for these ripped up, so. Oh, you're not from Fab Below. You are different. <laughs> um, yeah, the box for these ripped, so I'll have to find a new home for them. But Fab Below fine liners. Don't sleep on them. And part three is pretty much going to be my review, so I'm not, I'm going to try not to review so much now. Um, then you've got, this is a set of felt tip pens. Um, these are similar to Papermate Flare, which is probably the most well-known felt tip pen. But uh, again, we're putting every pen that I can think of to the test. And I know the lighting looks like I have a halo around me. I know. Uh, but yeah, these are from Mr. Pen as well. And then um, we've got Windsor and Newton. I think I'm going to take these out of the package because this packaging is kind of, I mean, it holds them nicely, but it's just kind of bulky and unnecessary. So, but yeah, Windsor and Newton, I have used their acrylic paints but never tried their fine liners, so fine liners. Well, actually I did use these, but again, we're putting everything to the test. Uh, Mr. Pen, multi, are these multi, multi liners? I got those, um, I got a set from Hobby Lobby. This was actually a really good deal and I really should use these more. Yeah, so I got those. Then I have the bucket of fine liners. I mean, this thing is stuffed. Probably shouldn't put 40 pens. I think I have like 40 pens. Probably shouldn't put that many in a pencil case, but this thing is holding real strong. Um, if I can find these still on Amazon, I got it in a two pack. The other one's on my desk holding my colored mechanical pencils. But this one is my fine liner one. And if I can find this, I will link it down below because it is really good. It's a telescope case, so normally when it's not this full, you can pull up the fabric and kind of zip it and it stands up. And it's just really cool. It does stand on its own. Let's see. I can't I can't get it in camera. Oh wait, yes, I can. Ta-da! It stands. But yeah, so I'm not going to go through every single pen in here because we'll be here for an hour. But just some of the brands I have. I have Tombow. I have Stabilo. I have Copic. I have Pentel. Art Alternatives. Uni. I do have a Pigma Micron. Oh yeah, story time. Um, when I was taking art classes in... I took art classes at the community college nearby and the teacher gave us like a supplies list and we had to go out and buy all the supplies and one of them was Pigma Microns. And I had heard of them and I never really used them before so I know my nails look like a mess, <laughs> sorry. But yeah, so Pigma Microns, um, teacher had us buy them and use them for homework assignments. I was doing my homework and the pen exploded all over the assignment. I was so pissed. I was like, I am not redoing this assignment. But I did have another pen, another Pigma Micron. And I said, all right, maybe it was just that one that was a dud. Nope. Second one did two. So I don't have good luck with Pigma Microns. So uh, we, we will see if Pigma Micron wants to work for me this time around. But yeah. Um, I do have Papermate Flare, I have Sharpie, um, yeah, we're gonna put Sharpie to the test, or what other brands do I have? I have Marstabilo, I have 
more Tombow. I, I mean, I have a lot. I have a lot of brands, but I also have pens from the same brand. Just different formulas, different type of pen. I have Marvy Lay pen. We're going to put that to the test. So yeah, there's a lot of, lot of pens. And then, like I said, we're going to put a regular old ballpoint. This is just a hotel pen. Because if you didn't take the hotel pens, what were you doing? Like, every time I went to a hotel, I was like, ooh, free pen. So, I mean, you can literally use any ballpoint, you know. It doesn't have to be a hotel one. I just, this was the first one I grabbed. Um, I'm going to put a rollerball to the test. Rollerball ink is really cool. So we're going to try that. This one's from Ritek. They are an Amazon brand as well. Um, really like their stuff. I've got, oh, speaking of Amazon, we've got an Amazon Basics. I'm going to put that to the test. And a gel pen. Um, I just grabbed this bag because it was, in it was easily accessible. This is my Zebra Sarasas. I just got these recently. And I've opened all the colored ones. The black ones are just extras because I stocked up on black. So yeah, and then where did the fountain pen go? I had it. Oh, here it is. It's sunk into the couch. No, come back here, please. Do not sink into the couch. Okay. So yeah, I just have a zebra fountain pen, but again, you can use any fountain pen. This is what it looks like. So yeah, um, this is going to be a real test. And I'm excited because I've been working on this for a long time. Like, I did not buy all of these all at once. Um, it's been over a while. I mean, some of the stuff I already had because I was using, like, the pen that I used to do my coloring book was this one, Pentel Finito. And then, um... I don't know where it is right now, but I used the Arteza. It's somewhere in here. Somewhere in the mess. Arteza, um, fine liner. I mean, like, we just, we have a lot. <laughs> so yeah, this is part one. Part two is going to be putting them to the test. And when I say putting them to the test, we're going to test, are they smudge proof? Are they alcohol marker proof? Are they highlighter proof? Uh, because sometimes you gotta highlight stuff and you don't want it smudging. And are they waterproof? Um, I'm gonna use like a water watercolor brush and just go over them and see if they smudge. So yeah, those are the tests that I'm looking for. And then maybe I'll draw like a sample just to see, make sure they don't fade over time or if they actually I have an eraser that works on ink so that'd be interesting to try to see if it can erase them out so yeah um stay tuned for part two and I'll see you then bye